And this particular individual doesn't really need any introduction apart from the fact that she's an architect for the metaverse. Um, so hi, um, so Fatima, thank you so much for joining. Um, so how are you doing today? Hi everyone. Hi Zach. Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and I'm happy to share. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can you give everyone um, the background in terms of how you got involved with NFTs? Because I know that you didn't plan to get involved in this industry. Not, not really, actually. Yeah, that, that's kind of very interesting. So I studied architecture, um, but during the time that I was studying, I knew about crypto. I was kind of involved in the space, but I was just kind of like, well, I didn't find this connection with the artistic side of, of it. You know, like I was just like, okay, well, this can be a financial tool, but how do I connect it to my artistic side or the architecture of things? And how can I connect these two? And about like six months ago, I was contacted by a startup investing in yield generating gaming assets called Play. And they asked me to design their headquarters in the metaverse called Decentraland. And that was kind of just the point where everything clicked and I got into it, you know? so. It was just like, okay, well, this is so interesting. This is so cool. I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing things in the real world anymore. You know, like the metaverse is, is a place full of opportunities for designers and artists. And it's just like something that can help you push the boundaries of design. And just, it was so fascinating. So that's how I got in. That's fantastic. Can you tell me what are you currently trying to work on at the moment? Yeah, sure. So basically, I um, I got in very recently, as I told you, like six months ago. So I, I've been working freelance uh, designing in the metaverse. And also I did a collaboration with a contemporary dancer where we released um, a series of, um, of works where in which we, we had like these photos of her and me creating the space um, that was like as NFT art. And also right now I am releasing my own first collection of NFTs, which are 3D assets that can be deployed on any metaverse of your choice. So basically what I would be creating is the 3D um, scenes or uh, the assets that would be uh, deployable on the metaverse. And can you tell me where did the inspiration come for you to create the digital assets that people can release on the metaverse? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I think that it was just kind of like, I, I saw a lot of NFT works and I definitely wanted to be in there. And I was just like, well, I don't want to do something that doesn't really have a utility to it, you know? So I was like, okay, I want to give it that extra step of like having a utility and something that people could actually do something with, right? So the NFT work that I do was kind of like, okay, well, how, how can I give it that utility? I'm an architect, I'm not just a designer. So what I can do is I can create my own designs. I can create my own spaces. And what people would do is use them in the metaverse um, for whatever thing they would need to do. For example, let's say you are um, you're, you are an art gallery and you want to push your work to the metaverse. What I would do is I would design that um, I would design that for you. But instead, um, instead of like working together and having like a one to one um, project where if, if you don't have the budget for that, you could just buy my NFTs and deploy it, um, deploy it on your metaverse. And Talking of the metaverse in your own worlds, right? What does the metaverse mean to you? Cool. Yeah, uh, I think to me, the metaverse is just like this uh, parallel decentralized world that um, it's full of possibilities. It's a place where you, you, it's not just a place where you like walk around or chat as, as we were discussing, like with your friends, which is obviously great. And it helps a lot during the pandemic as well with a lot of people like not being able to connect with people one-on-one, -on -one, it was really great to have that option. But I feel like it's a lot more, it's, it's, a, it's a lot bigger than that. Um, for example, what, um, what we're doing with the play to earn as well, um, or, or different kind of projects, I, I feel like it's the future and uh, it's a future of monetizing and working and just the future of how the world is going to work in general. That's fantastic, great answer. Um, and just to summarize, can you give any advice to anyone who could have been in your position before, right? They could have gone to school to learn like a traditional skill, right? And they're interested in getting involved in the crypto world, the blockchain world. What advice could you give them? Yeah, definitely. Um, what I would say is it is the moment. So definitely do get in. And I, I would also agree that you have to you have to explore a bit, but you have to also know where you want to position yourself in the space because there's a lot happening and you, it can get a bit overwhelming sometimes. And also it's really hard to catch up with it. And so I think that finding out where you want to be in the space can help you like um, focus, have that focus that can 
kind of clear out some of some of the things so you're you're not like overwhelmed with information all the time and also having a mentor is really important having someone sponsoring you or having someone to like kind of guide you uh in the way that you enter uh, there are a lot of people working in that sense right now like nft incubators for artists or for just creatives that want to get into the industry so what they do is basically help you to create your community which is so important in the industry and also help you find the way to to market your work and i think that's really important to have and i guess going to events and uh different kind of activities like that would also help you help you help you to get there yeah that's fantastic. I really appreciate it. If anybody would like to get in touch with um, Safatima, maybe to get her help on building your own metaverse, I'm, I'm sure she's available for the work. Um, click on the links in the description below. It's been a pleasure meeting you again, Fatima. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.